for approaching press would be to always make sure we have some way of listening to your music. There's no point in getting in touch if we can't gauge what your sound is like. Um, pictures, really clear pictures are always good. We don't want to see selfies, um, we want to see like nice full length, we really want to get a sense of who you are from the clothes you wear and what you look like. But So yeah, I think a combination of making sure that we have the photos and the, the actual music to, to really get a sense of who you are as an artist is really important. I think it's really important for singers to approach press because Quite a lot of the time we're in a really busy office environment, we don't always get the chance to sit and listen to as many um, songs or you know, look on YouTube for new stars as we'd like to. So for, if, for artists sending us content that we can use and that really t is, fits our demographic, that's really, really useful. So it is important to get in touch with the press, but think about what press you're getting in touch with them for what purpose. For example, if you're wanting to get in touch with a magazine like Shout, you have to really think, is your work suitable for the audience? Is, are our teen girls going to enjoy it? Same if you're looking to get promoted in you know, local newspapers, are the people in the local area going to be interested? It's all about tailoring your content to the magazine, that, or tailoring what you're sending to the magazine and making sure that it all fits in. A good press release contains all the information that we need, so things like you're a good high res photo that we can use in print. We don't want to be chasing up people for good photos to use. Um, we want to be able to hear your music, so a link to a SoundCloud or a YouTube or even you know a CD is so much appreciated by us. Um, I think also just giving us a little bit of background about yourself, like and why you why you sort of fit into the demographic that we're looking for. It doesn't have to be a, a press release sort of tailored to us, but I would like to know you know people's ages and kind of what, they're, what they would describe their sound as, anything we can sort of scan quickly over and, and take some information from. And I think also making sure that there's good strong contact details on there. The number of times we get sent stuff through and there's not even an email address to get in touch, it's really important that we can get back in touch with you if we want to feature you. Social media is becoming more and more important when we're looking at new artists that we're going to feature um, in our titles. And I think one of it's not just about followers, it's about the relationship you have with people. So it's just as much about if you're replying to people and you know, giving people answers to questions or re retweeting people often, um, it just shows you have a really good rapport with people and a really good audience and that's the sort of people we would look to work with. The reason why uh, a strong fan base on social media would be useful to us would be that it would give us a sense of how many people actually like this music, you know, you know, if you've got a lot of followers on Twitter it kind of sometimes suggests that you have a broad appeal, so that's something that we really look for um, in terms of followers. It's not just about sales for the magazine, it's about giving readers the content that they want. An act's image is quite important in the sense of, for the media, um, I think that it's important to have an image that really relates to your sound, that is cohesive. Um, image isn't everything at Shout, we're really um, strong supporters of people's individuality and it's really important to have an individual style, so it doesn't matter if you fit the mould, it's all about just making sure that your image relates to your sound and making sure that your whole package um, kind of tells us what we need to know about you and about your music. I think a good performance is based around the the stage presence, whether you have this sort of owning of the stage, whether you interact with the audience, whether you make the audience feel comfortable. I think a combination of just really knowing who you are and how you're appearing to people and just making sure that people feel completely at ease or feel some kind of Sense, sense of emotion when, when they watch it. Are you ready? Who will be the winner? Open Mic UK. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? This is Open Mic UK.